So first, let us learn about the important features and what are the terms you have to remember in this phyla for answering objective questions. Let us see in detail. Okay. So the grades of organization again, organ system. Organs are present in this phyla. And again, what do you mean by annelida? Annulus. Annulus means rings. Annulus means a ring. So they will be having a ring-like appearance in their morphology. Okay, so they are named as annelids. Yes, Tansilia, you are right, segmented worms. So ring-like structure is present on the appearance is present on the morphology. So they are named as annelids. And symmetry, if you take, they have bilateral symmetry. Okay, that is if we cut on the central axis, we can find the two equal divisions. And again, germ layers, triploblastic, they have both, both endo, ecto, along with mesoderm. Okay, and again, coelomates. So these are the first coelomates which are having true body cavity. So what do you mean by coelo, body cavity? which exists in between body wall and gut. So here, if you take the coelom, they are true sisocelomic coeloms. That is, in coelomate, there are different types. Okay, that is true coeloms or else u coeloms. Okay, in u coeloms, there are two different types. One is sisocele. Another one is ankylosine. So what is the difference between these two? Celo, in sisocel, celom is formed from mesoderm. And in enterocele, the cavity, body cavity, celom is formed from the gut. So that is the difference. Because you know very well that body cavity or celom is the cavity existing between body wall and gut. Clear. So here, this sisocel is form, formed from mesoderm, and again, enterocel is formed from the gut. Okay, a small pouch is formed from mesoderm in sisocel and from gut in enterocel. So here, annelids question, objective question may be asked. They are sisocelomic in nature. They have sisocelomic coelom. Clear? So, objective type questions, different options will be given. Enterocele, sisocele for annelids, acelomate, pseudocelomate. Four different options may be given. Okay. And next is habit and habitat. They are terrestrial, freshwater or marine. Again, as they have to maintain the moisture content, they will live in moist environment. If they are terrestrial, they will live in moist environment. They are free living or parasitic in nature. You know what are parasites? They depend on their host for habitat and nutrients also. Digestive system is again complete. Complete digestive system means they have separate mouth and anus. Okay, and the respiratory system, if you take, they do cutaneous respiration. Okay, they do cutaneous respiration. That is cutaneous respiration means the cuticle which is present above the epidermis of their skin can respire through a minute pores present on them. Okay, and some have gill respiration also. And regarding circulatory system, they have closed type circulatory system. That is, they have blood vessels in which the blood is running. Blood passes through the tubes. Clear? Yes. Next, if you take reproduction, they are sexual. They are following sexual reproduction. Okay, and again, earthworms and leeches are monaceous or hermaphrodites 
in nature, but Neeris, if you take, they have male and female, different sexes. Okay, you have to remember this very well that in annulids, they follow both monaceous and dioecious nature. Here, example for hermaphrodite, that is monaceous, in which both the sexes are existing in same individual. Both male and female sex organs, they are present in same individual. In earthworms and leeches, so example for hermaphrodic, uh, hermaphrodite analytes, earthworms and leeches, and dioecious means both male and female sex organs will be placed in different individuals. Example, Mary's. And development is indirect. Means, what do you mean by indirect development? Adult and young stages, they will have different morphology. That is, you can have like larval stage will present. Clear? Yes. So here you have to remember the content which comes under unique features. Most of the questions will be asked from this part. This part. And again, segmentation is like rings. Longitudinal and circular muscles help in locomotion. And again, locomotory organs are setae in earth form and parapodia. If you see parapodia means like there are some muscular extensions which are present in the body of analytes like this at the lateral position. Okay, so these are very much helpful in respiration also. If parapodia is present, respira respiration also carried out by this parapodia. For example, neeris. So here, Cetae is present in earthworm and the parapodia is present in neeris. And excretion, excretion is by nephridia. What do you mean by nephridia? A tube-like structure which will collect waste materials and pour outside the body. They are called as nephridia. So this is important feature of analytes. Clear? Yes. Regarding nervous system, if you see, they have a paired ganglia. Paired ganglia, they are connected by lateral nerves. These are lateral nerves. Clear. And again, each la la lateral nerves are connected by the ventral nerve cords. That do double ventral nerve cords. See here. So this is double ventral nerve cord. So what is the composition of nervous system present in analytes? A pad ganglia, lateral nerves, and double ventral nerve cord. So different options will be given. So this is the components of nervous system for analytes. Clear? Yeah. So let us see other features. Okay, you should know regarding this uh, phyla. So they are triploblastic in nature, bilateral, Coelomic, coelomus, cysocelom, all you have to remember. And again, habitat, terrestrial, marine, or freshwater. Clear. So let us see that is their body surface. They have segments. Segmentation will be present, and that, that is called as metamers. Okay, so this term you should remember. And again, if you take the body wall, what is the nature of body wall? So, as usual, they are made up of outer epidermis. Clear? Uh, outer epidermis is made up of columnar epithelium. Mm -hmm. Columnar epithelium. Clear? And again, this epidermis is coated with extremely moist cuticle. Moist cuticle covers epidermis. Clear. And again, this is above the epidermis. And if you take below the epidermis, muscle, <clears throat> 
is present. Okay, what type of muscle cells are present here? <coughs> Longitudinal muscle fibers. Longitudinal muscle fibers. Clear? So these muscle fibers are responsible for the locomotion. Clear? Yeah, metabolism shown by how many phyla? So metabolism that is shown by arthropods and annelids. And even we have segmentation. We also have segmentation. Mammals do have, uh, chordates also have segmentation. That is, you can have vertebrae. So vertebrae, we have segments, clear. So like these metameric segmentation is present only in arthropods and annelids. So this part you have to remember well that the epidermal layer is present and above that cuticle is present and below that muscle cells are present. Longitudinal muscle fibers, which are made up of muscle cells, they are responsible for the movement of annelids. Okay, so again, aquatic annelids like Mary's, they possess parapodia. So parapodia is the extension of muscular part at the lateral portions. So this parapodia especially is present in aquatic annelids. Okay, and again, example, Mary's. Clear? Yeah, Nandini, what about mollusca? So mollusca, all organisms, they won't have. Okay, and again, next is, what about the CTA? That is chitinous CTA. That is also responsible for locomotion. Okay. And again, leeches have suckers. Suckers are present in suckers, they are present in parasites. So, what is the role of suckers? Again, they need to suck the nutrients. Okay. Again, next is the coelomic fluid, the body cavity. Coelom is filled with fluid, which is called as coelomic fluid. So what is the role of the coelomic fluid? This maintains the hydrostatic skeleton. So already we saw this habit, that this feature in roundworm also. So due to the pressure, they are maintaining the shape of the body. So here also that coelom, which is filled with coelomic fluid, which is acting as a hydroskeleton. And as I told, digestive system is complete and digest digestion is extracellular. Okay, so digestion happens through extracellular method. Clear. And again, regarding respiration, cutaneous respiration and apart from that even parapodia if you take neeris this parapodia is involved in respiration also clear they have minute pores through that the gas exchange will take place and closed circulatory system they have and regarding respiratory pigments so regarding respiration they do cutaneous or or by using parapodia and how the oxygen is transported all over the body by pigments like hemoglobin or erythro yes erythrochrorin erythrochrorin so what do you mean by erythrochrorin this is the single hemoglobin in erythrochrorin Cryorin, erythrocryorin, here many hemoglobins will form a complex structure. So many hemoglobins will form a structure like this. Okay, so this is hemoglobin complex, we can say. So these are very much helpful in the transportation of oxygen in analytes. Okay, so already we discussed about nephridia. 
nephridia again that involves in asthma regulation and nephridia they involve in asthma regulation clear and again sensory organs so sensory organs apart from nervous system they do have other sensory organs like like tactile taste buds they have and again statuses photoreceptor cells so in earth form you might have uh, learnt about all these so photoreceptor cells if uh, they they can sense the light if the light intensity is increased temperature will also get increased in the environment so they can be sensed by this photoreceptor cells and even they have eyes okay so here the sexes may be separate in nereis and hermaphrodite in monoecious in earthworm and leash okay so yes larval form for this phyla is trochophore so development is indirect visa and the name of the larvae for this phyla is trochophore Troco four, okay, and let us see the examples. So these are the major examples. That is earthworm, Feridima. You should know the common name and scientific name. Leech, Cladonaria, Nereis, Sandworm. See, these are called as parapodia. Here, see, you can see here the extensions of muscle uh, layer. Okay, so again. Thridunaria, that is otherwise known as blood sucking. You know this is leash. So how they survive? They suck blood of animals. Okay. So all the nutrients which are available in the blood is enough for leading life for leash. So they are called as blood sucking, blood sucking animals. Clear. And apart from that, one more example you should know. They are. Aphrodites. Okay, so like leeches, Aphrodite, they are otherwise called as sea mouse. They live in marine. It is aquatic and alive. Clear? So these are the important points you have to remember. That is segmentation. Metam 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 ears are present. Parapodia. What is the use? Suckers are present in parasites. Coelom, size of coelom. Filled with silomic fluid, hydroskeleton is maintained due to this fluid presence. Digestion is extracellular, and body wall is having epidermis above the epidermis, cuticle is present below the epidermis. Longitudinal muscle fibers are present; they are helpful in locomotion. Okay, nephridia it is involved in excretion and nerve regulation. Other than the nervous system, they are having tactile taste buds, statuses. Photoreceptor cells and eyes. Trochophore is the name of the larvae for analytics. So again, see the glands, organ system level, bi bilateral, trochoblastic, coelomates, terrestrial freshwater and marine, complete digestive system with extracellular digestion, cutaneous and uh, cutaneous and parapodial. That is parapodia access branchia. Okay, and closed side circulatory system, sexual reproduction, both monoecious and dioecious organisms are present. Development is indirect. Okay, so the unique features are true segmentation is there. Longitudinal and circular muscle fibers helps in the locomotory process. And again, locomotory organs are setae and parapodia. excretion by nephridia and nervous system has paired ganglia with lateral nerves and double ventral nerve cord examples are feridima cridinaria nereis and aphrodite aphrodite okay so that's all about this phyla let us move on to the next phylum that is arthropods
So you very well know that all the insects comes under this phyla. What do you mean by artron? So artron means joint. And poda, you know, podos means food. So they have joint appendages. That is the unique feature of this phyla. Okay, and if you take, uh, this is the largest phyla, question will be asked. So among 11 phylas, this is the largest phyla. Okay, so about two third of the animals comes under this phyla. Okay, so in earth, if you count the total number of animals, two third of the animals belong to arthropoda. Okay, so again, Symmetry is bilateral. Germ layers again, three germ layers are present ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. So, triploblastic in nature. Coelom, coelomate, true coelom is present. Okay, and again, yes, habit and habitat is found all over the world. Okay, and digestive system, it is complete. It has two openings, mouth and anus, and respiratory system. Some insects, they have gills, book gills, trachea, and book lungs. And circulatory system is open type. There are no blood vessels. Blood will be delivered to the sinuses, that is body cavities. Okay, so open type circulatory system. And again, reproduction, mostly dioecious. Usually, internal fertilization occurs. Mostly dioecious, male and female separate. Mostly oviparous. So oviparous, they lay egg and hatch them. And again, development is direct or indirect. That is, both adult and young resemble same. Adult and young same or different. Clear. For example, if you take butterfly, they have larval stage. Okay. Some insects, they do not have larval stages also. Clear. What are the unique features you have to remember for this phyla? It is very easy. So, till now, food is not there and here the joint appendages are present. Again, the body is divided into three segments, that is head, thorax and abdomen. So what are the three body parts present in arthropods? Head part, thorax part and abdomen part. And again here the body is covered by thick cuticle. So if you touch and feel the earthworm, it is very soft. But if you touch a heart, cockroach, that will be little stronger, tougher in texture. Okay, so that texture is sponsored by chitin. So this chitin, what is the nature of, biomolecular nature of this chitin? This chitin is homopolysaccharide. Homopolysaccharide. Okay, and this is also present in the cell wall of fungi. Cell wall of fungi consists of this chitin. Clear. Yeah. So homopolysaccharide means you know that on hydrolysis they will be giving only one type of Monosaccharides. For example, here chitin is made up of n acetyl glucosamine. Clear. Yeah. And again, here excretion is by Malpighian tubules. Clear. Yeah. So, and again, next is sensory organs are antimic. And they do have compound or simple eyes. So, what do you mean by compound eye and simple eye? Here in compound eye, multiple images will be found. Here. And statuses are the sensory organs here. So, they help in balancing process. So, these are the things you have to remember. That is chitinous exoskeleton and head, thorax, abdomen, joint appendages, Malvigian tubules. Clear? Yeah.
Yes, let us see the additional points. Here, the functional body cavity is called as hemocene. Hemocyl means why it is known as hemocyl? Or else, cytosyl. Clear. Cytosyl or hemocyl. So, as I told, this cytosyl is formed from mesoderm. And why it is also named as hemocyl? In most of the cytosyl organisms, in body cavity, blood is filled. Body cavity, blood is filled. So here in insects, the body cavity is filled with the as they are not having closed circulatory system, the blood will be delivered into the body cavity. So they are called as hemocyl. Clear. And again, apart from that, muscles are mostly striated. They do have striated muscles. Clear? Yeah. And again, apart from that, if you see digestive system, they have complete digestive system. Mouth parts are different for doing different functions. For feeding process, they have different type of mouths. Okay. So, for example, in digestive system, in alimentary canal, if you, if you take the digestive system of arthropods, they have foregut, midgut, and hindgut. So each are doing their own functions. Here, so the respiratory organs are gills, as I told. Okay, gills or book gills or trachea or book lungs. So I will give you the examples for different respiratory organs. Here, see here. Yes, for gills, example. Vestigia. And for bookies, limulus. Clear. And for aquatic forms, that is aquatic forms, and again, trachea is for insects. And booklums is for scorpions and spiders. Spiders and scorpions. So different respiratory systems are followed by different arthropods. And again, excretory organ, apart from malpigian tubules, they some have green glands. Some have green glands. And uh, the major uh, respiratory organ is malpigian tubules. Clear. And apart from that, coxal glands are also present in green glands or coxal glands also acts as an excretory organ of the arthropods. Okay, so again, some insects they secrete pheromones. So, what is the role of pheromones? So, these pheromones are like they are acting, they, they will be having some aroma. So, these are very much helpful in mating process. So, some insects, they produce pheromones to attract the opposite sex. Clear. So, this is very much helpful in sexual reproduction. Clear. And again, as I told, they are oviparous and very few are ovoviparous in nature. Clear. So, let us come to the examples. And again, sensory organs. Antenna, simple lines or compound lines. Apart from that, they do have tactile receptors and chemoreceptors. Okay, so what is the role of chemoreceptors? So, as we saw in other phyla, chemoreceptors helps to identify the toxic substances which are present around the animal. Clear? Yes. So, let us see the examples. So, important examples are spider, scorpion, crab. Okay. So, economically important insects are also 
Hey, see here, honeybee. Bomb is silk bomb. Lassifer lacca. Okay, so let me give you the yes. Sir. So honeybee, apis, apis. We got different uh, species are there. And bombyx mori, bombyx mori is silk worm. Silk worm, which is which is used in the production of silk. Okay, so lazifer laca that produces specific wax. This is otherwise called, called as lac insect. Okay, and some are acting as vectors. What do you mean by vectors? So vectors. They are the carriers of infectious organisms. Infectious organisms. See here, Anopheles. So, Anopheles mosquito, it spreads malaria. So, it is a carrier for plasmodium. Clear? And again, Anopheles, Culex, and Aedes. All are mosquitoes. Which will carry different disease causing organisms. And if you take house fly and sand fly, sand fly, it causes leishmaniasis, kala azar. Okay, few examples are given, but most of the insects they are acting as vectors. They are the reason for spreading diseases in other animals. Okay, so again, house fly. Housefly also, you know that it also acts as a vector for different diseases. Okay, so here in economically important insects, you can add some more also, which is called as Daphnia or else water food. Okay, Lepsisma. Lepsisma. So here, lepsisma, which is otherwise called as silverfish. So these are having economical importance. Okay, so other vectors, they are helpful for infectious organisms, but they are harmful for host. Clear. So uh, apart from that, gregarious pest is locust. So locust, this is acting as a pest for plant species. And again, living fossil is limulus. That is always called as king crab. Okay. And again, others like very known examples are butterfly, we can have and scorpion and prawn. Okay, crustaceans, all the crustaceans, spider, spider already we saw. And again, apart from that, cyclops, cyclops, clear. And uh, centipedes, millipedes are other examples. Millipedes, centipedes are other examples. So these are the important examples for arthropods. Okay, so let us see a glance for the spider again. They have organ system, bilateral symmetry, tracheoblastic in nature, coelom. Coelom is hemocele or cytosyl. They live in all places and they have complete digestive system with proper alimentary canal. And again, respiration is through gills, book gills, trachea, book lungs, etc. And again, uh, circulatory system is open type. Reproduction is uh, mostly dioecious. Usually, internal fertilization happens. The fertilization occurs inside the organism. And uh, mostly oviparous and few are oviviparous. Okay, development is indirect or direct. They have uh, joint appendages. Body, body is divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. abdomen. And they have chitinous cuticle which is a protective layer for them and Malthusian tubules are present for excretory process. Sense organs are, they have eyes, antennae, statuses, and chemoreceptors, tactoreceptors are present. 
example spider scorpion crab prawns and other insects many examples i have given additionally also that will be helpful for answering different questions clear yeah so let us discuss questions from bodhi phyla clear yeah first let us see questions from analytics so the first question is sexes are united in sexes are united in leech earthworm nearies fourth option is both one and two so i already explained that leech and earthworm they are monoecious nearies dioecious so here sexes are united means both yeah somebody answered yeah very good tansila yeah nandini very good so no need to explain i think next question is metamerism is characteristic of phylum metamerism is characteristic of phylum and then it's no need to give options i think these are the specific feature of analytics metamerism okay here the in the options arthropods are not given porifera poriferans platyhelminthes mollusk are the other options along with analytics so you can easily select analytics okay third question is which of the following belongs to phylum annelida nearies octopus crab ant so octopus crab ant comes under arthropods nearies comes under annelida okay am i going fast are you able to follow me yeah fine okay yes sir. next question is which of the following assist in locomotion so which of the following assist in locomotion in annelids so let me give the options nidoglas in obelia so nidoglas what is the role of nidoglas where they are present they are present in nidarians okay so nidoglas they are filled with nematocyst that is a capsule which is filled with the hyp hypnotaxin clear stingray you have to remember nidoglas for stingray okay and the second option given is posterior sucker in cnidaria and trichosis in paramecium trichosis in paramecium clitellum in ferritima so here the posterior sucker in cnidaria helps in locomotion you have to remember this okay that is posterior sucker so this helps in locomotion in cnidaria that is each clear so next question annelids are annelids are options are first option radially symmetrical second option first option is wrong they are bilateral symmetry externally segmented internally unsegmented this is also wrong so segmentation proper segmentation metamerism we have to call metamerism is there when they are both internally and externally divided clear but it is not meant that even that is each and every segment will be having all the organelles that is not so but they that is while learning earthworm we are learning that this segment is having this organ like that right? right so internally and externally we are segmenting the annelids okay so here the option second option given is externally segmented internally unsegmented this is wrong they are segmented both internally and externally okay and third option given is pseudo coelomates no they are coelomates that to hemocele or cytosel clear and again last option is trichoblastic so trichoblastic is the right answer they have both uh, they have all three germ layers body cavity in members of annelida is body cavity in members of annelida is pseudocil enterocil no body cavity that is a coelomate cytosil 
Cytosine is the right answer. Clear? Yes, next is animals in which phyla exhibit tube within tube. Yes, here annelids, they have tube within tube. Means they have, again, digestive system as an entire alimentary canal. Foregut, midgut, and hindgut is present. So this is called as tube within tube. Okay, so here options given are cilantrata. Cilantrata, they are having gastrovascular cavity. They do not have a tube-like structure for digestive system. Platicum in this also. And cestoda. So all these three are not having tube within type a tube. And again, analysis or the correct answer. Okay, so next, next question is Aphrodite. Aphrodite, commonly known as sea mouse, is an insect, mollusk, mammals, annelids. So Aphrodite is an example for Annelida. Which animal does not possess larval stage in its life cycle? Which animal does not possess larval stage in its life cycle? Frog, Penia solium, Ascaris, Ferritima. Earthworm does not have larval stage. In earthworm, the development is direct. If you see, if you see earthworms at the young age and adult, they do have similar morphology. Clear. So the correct answer, which animal does not possess larval stage in its life cycle is peritema. One of the following is not annelid. One of the following is not annelid. Peritema, Pridomeria, Ureotyphilus. Let me write the name. Ureotyphilus. One more option given is Aphrodite. So here Peritema, Pridomeria, and Aphrodite, they come under analytics, but this uh, Ureotyphilus comes under analytics. Okay, so next question is Parapodia are the locomotive structures in, especially in Scolopendra, Centipede, Earthworm, Nevis. So Nevis have Parapodia, even in example, even in excretory organ, I have explained this. True coelom has evolved for the first time in, true coelom has evolved for the first time in Analysis. Yeah, yes, correct, Tansilia. Tansila, I think, Tansila. Which of the following is an analyzer? Sea horse, sea cow, sea pen. Clear? So sea pen comes under Nidarian. Okay, so here sea mouse. Sea mouse is the other name for Aphrodite. Clear? Yeah. That is... Sea mouse is Aphrodite. Clear? And next question is an example of class Polychaeta is Nereus. Example for Polychaeta is Nereus. Clear? And Dyesia is under Nereus. Many options are given, Pridinaria, uh, Peritima, Neris, and all, all the above. So, Dioecious here is Neris. Okay. And next question, ex excretion in most analytes takes place by Nephridia. Okay. Larval stage found in the life history of analytes. Larval stage, larvae of analytes. I have given the name. What is that? Trococo. Clear. Respiration in analytes takes place by body surface, cutaneous, mostly by analytes respire through analyta respiration through cutaneous skin. Clear. So again, find out the statement, find out the true statement for leeches. They are unsegmented animals? No. They all are endoparasites? No. 
they will they will just yes they will be having polyketa polyketa means again they are uh, having a different morphology when compared to others okay so here if you take leeches leeches again uh, if you compare earthworm and leech you can identify the uh, differences clear and again annelids annelida uh, sorry here the question is we were discussing about uh, leeches and again they are unsegmented they all are endoparasitic in the in them coelom is absent they are found in fresh water so some leeches mostly they are terrestrial some leeches they are living in fresh water also that is the correct answer okay so again next is suckers of leech are located at suckers of leech is located at anterior end posterior end both anterior and posterior nap so leeches they have suckers at anterior and posterior what do you mean by anterior and posterior anterior front portion so leeches will be like a flat structure and this anterior and posterior means again uh, front portion and back portion on either side they will be having suckers so very soon they will suck blood from the host and fall down so whenever their uh, uh, digestive system is filled with the blood of a host they will fall down okay so circulatory system is best represented by earthworm okay circulatory system again is represented by earthworm fluke ascaris tania tania solium so all other three uh, three they don't they are parasites mostly they do not have proper digestive system but they have suckers okay suckers and hooks will be present for anchoring and absorbing the nutrients from the host clear and again here which of the following is an example of freshwater leech peritema nearis aphrodite hirudinaria so hirudinaria is the freshwater leech cocoon in earthworm is secreted by clitellar glands this you are learning in structural organization so earthworm yeah so cocoons they are secreted by clitellar segments clitellar segments okay and again next question is metamerism is a characteristic of phylum annelida so here other options given are porifera tinopora platical menthes so you can easily select the correct option so let us move on to the next phyla that is arthropods which set of insects is useful to man which set of insects that is economically important insects so here four different combinations are given first option is honey bee locust black insect silk moth honey bee dragonfly black insect silk moth honey bee so black insect give wax silk moth gives silk honey bee gives honey so this is the correct option yeah yes nandini you are right okay yeah yes next is structural and functional unit of compound eye is omatidium you know that is you may have learnt in uh, the entire morphology and anatomy of cockroach so compound eyes compound eyes compound eyes they are having is yes, Womatidium. Clear. So, excretory organs in insects, especially Malpighian tubules. This is easy question. Okay. Group of arthropods devoid of antenna. 
group of arthropods devoid of antenna are known as are known as this is arachnida so this is new which is not dealt in this uh, content okay arachnida this is not having antenna no antenna is present clear no antenna largest group of arthropoda insecta insect crustaceans arachnida arachnida uh, myriapoda are the options given here insecta is the largest uh, group which of the following is not correctly matched c gregarious pest locusta yes that is correct living fossil limulus that is also correct okay and uh, economically important uh, insects honeybee and silkworm given that is also correct in vectors mosquitoes lac insect is given lac insect is actually economically important so this is the incorrect match the largest phylum of animalia is arthropoda compound eyes occur in arthropoda which of the following is living fossil limulus living fossil is limulus clear yeah yes nandini correct which is not a member of class insecta loves cockroach spider that is this is about class we are le not learning about classes and all so no need to worry about this question so green glands present in some arthropods help in green glands coxal glands malpighian tubules or the excretory organs in arthropods clear so again next question is insects have blood similar to human blood in color circulates through the closed blood vessels circulates in open system contains hemoglobin as respiratory pigment open circulatory system is the right answer this is also very easy question okay and respiratory pigment in some arthropods is hemocyanin hemocyanin is the respiratory pigment of arthropods so this you have to remember question will be asked hemo sign okay so muscles of arthropods are mostly striated striated muscles fertilization in arthropods is external internal both none of the above internal fertilization in phylum arthropoda respiration occurs through respiration occurs through trachea gills both none both trachea and gills are present okay and which of the class of arthropods has cephalothorax crustacean this also no need okay that's all and one more question an animal was observed as bilateral symmetrical metamerically segmented triploblastic in nature it was identified as an arthropod which character should have been identified first to call it and it as an arthropod so easily you can say that jointed appendages is the jointed appendages or the unique feature for arthropods so soon after finding the jointed appendages you can find that this belongs to arthropoda phyla clear yes so nandini regarding this palikita near is if you take they have parapodia so i explained about parapodia right so whatever the animals which are having parapodia they comes under palikita so earthworm if you take external morphology they won't have additional muscles which come out of their body structure but if you take nereids they do have structures like this clear yeah you can clarify your doubts now Dheeraj, when you joined, I was expecting you. You joined lately. Yeah, slept. I think, huh? Okay. Okay. Anyway, 